What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get custom system fonts on your iOS 16 device without a jailbreak. So for those that have been jailbroken before, it's very easy to do. But without a jailbreak, obviously we haven't seen a method in a very long time. And now we do have a way. So I'm um, huge credit to developer. Um, I'm going to leave his Twitter link down below in the description of the video. Uh, this was posted a couple days ago, but this will work on iOS 16.1.2 and below. So fortunately for those currently on the latest firmware of iOS 16, which is 16.2, it will fortunately not work. So um, my device right now I'm using is a 13 Pro, currently on 16.1, so we are good to go with that. So basically you would open up this application right here and you have the option to choose a couple fonts right here. Maybe in the future they'll add more fonts, but uh, basically all you have to do is just tap on the font you want and they'll say success, force close an app to see results. So for example, if I just close uh, some of the apps right here, from a device, we can open up settings. You will see it will take effect and immediately change the font. So it will work on all stock applications, but it won't work on every single third party app. So I've tested like Twitter, it doesn't work, but for YouTube, it actually does work, which is um, pretty awesome. So if I open up the YouTube application right here, you will see that the fonts will completely change. And um, if you ever want to change it to a different font, you go back in, select whatever font you want, and then you would obviously force close the app. So um, for those that want to revert back to the stock font, all you have to do is just reboot your device and then you'll go back to the original font on iOS 16. So if you want to get it, um, it's, it's a bit tricky, I wouldn't say, if you haven't dealt with it before. So you will need to use an application called Alt Store. If you're familiar with that, it's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is you need a computer to install Alt Store, either Windows or Mac. And then after that, you basically just install the IPA from their device. So the IPA, I'm going to link down below in the description. But once you do have Alt Store installed on your device, all you have to do is go to the GitHub page right here, scroll down and look for the IPA right here. You just tap on it and then it's going to ask you if you want to download the IPA. And then after that, you basically um, open it up in the Alt Store application. So I've already downloaded a couple times right here. So we just tap on it click on the share icon, you would open an alt store and then install the app right here. I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do that again, but I will leave a full tutorial on how to install alt store on iOS 16 in the description below. I may make a, another uh, follow-up tutorial um, if people are still having trouble with it, but it is very easy to do once you do have alt store installed. But once again, huge credits developer for making this possible. Like I mentioned earlier, this does only work on iOS 16.1.2 and below on unjailbroken devices. So pretty cool we have this on a non-jailbreak device. But there you guys have it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. And that's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.